What's up everybody, it's Erskine the Prophet here to do another video and this video was going to be called UFC Vegas 22 Review Kevin Holland is not as good as we thought he was and I don't, I, I don't even know where to start with this video I guess uh, there was a main event at UFC Vegas 22 on Saturday uh, between Kevin Holland and Derek Brunson and uh, I'm going to tell y'all, I put my money on uh, Kevin Holland to win that fight. And I couldn't be more disappointed. I mean, it's the fight game. You know, things happen. But to be honest, this played out in a way that I never I, I never saw it coming. Now, just so y'all know, Derek Brunson has been a spoiler <laughs> in several of his last fights. You know, he's on a, a four-fight win streak, I think, with this fight. But um, Derek Brunson has definitely been a spoiler uh, to young up-and-coming fighters before. You know, he stopped a lot. This is the third time he stopped the fighter, a young up-and-coming fighter, fighter dead in his tracks. You know what I'm saying? Kevin Holland is just the latest victim. But the thing that kind of um, shocked me, surprised me, bothered me, is that Kevin Holland had, he basically got taken down all five rounds in the main event. Taken down and handled. Like, he looked like a straight amateur. I, I was kind of shocked, you know, like I said, I pick fights wrong sometimes. It is what it is. I, You know, I'm not even shocked. You know, I always knew there was a possibility that Derek Brunson could win this fight because it's the fight game. That's what happens. But I had no idea that Kevin Holland had no takedown defense whatsoever. <laughs> not only did he get taken down, he got held down. I think he did take Derek Brunson down once. You know, but Derek Brunson pretty much controlled the whole fight. Now... With that said, one thing that it, it did show me is that Derek Brunson is not too good on his feet. And, you know, I've seen him get knocked out before. So, you know, what happens when Derek Brunson gets in there with somebody we can't take down? You know, then we'll, you know, we'll see what Derek Brunson really can do at that point. But in terms of uh, Kevin Holland, I, I don't even know. I don't even know who he should fight next, to be honest, because he looks so green in that fight. I mean, not only did he get taken down, he got held down and handled the whole fight. Like, he ain't, he ain't had no answers. None. He didn't even sprawl. I mean, he had no sprawl at all. I mean, he had no type of, like, plan B. I mean, nothing. Like, okay. I mean, it was just bad, man. I, I, I was shocked. And then what made it even worse, <clears throat> excuse me, this jackass wants to run around talking to everybody. He's talking to Khabib. He's talking to Dana White. He's talking to everybody but who he should be talking to. Who he should have been talking to was his corner, trying to figure out how he can keep from getting put on his ass every round. But no, he rather talked to, you know, the, the janitors and, the, you know, the camera crew. And, you know, he want to talk to everybody. Everybody but who he should be talking to. And it's like he, he's taking it for a joke. And I don't think he realized how bad he just fucked up. Because um, this is the thing. Dana White was in his corner. You know, he had a good run, a win streak going. He was fighting real frequently. He was stopping his opponents. You know, and Dana White will get behind something like that. But then you come in there and pull this crap he just pulled. Man, Dana White going to move on to the next dude. So he going to be looking. He going to be kind of lonely till we get, get another win streak going. I can tell you that. You know, it, that's how the fight game goes. You can't talk a bunch of shit and then not deliver. You know what I'm saying? That's what made Conor McGregor so great. He talked a whole bunch of shit and then went in there in the ring and backed that shit up. You know what I'm saying? That's why people love Conor McGregor. Because he talked it and then he walked it. You can't... I'm, I'm even wondering why the hell Kevin Holland would even pick somebody like Derek Brunson to perf go in there and perform in the way that he did. You know, I mean, it was just bad, man. He looked green as shit. Like, no takedown defense at all. No, uh, no, you know... No offense from the bottom at all. No, you know, going for submissions. No getting good strikes in like he did in, uh, in his previous fight. I forgot the guy. He won. He got, The guy took him down, put him on his back, and he knocked him out. Well, Derek Brunson was a lot smarter than that because he stayed way too close. There was no posturing up from Derek Brunson. But speaking of Derek Brunson, man, I, I got to take the time to talk about this clown too, for real. Now, you know, I'm going to tell you all something. I'm a black dude. I'm light-skinned, but I am black. You know, so I'm not saying this is some type of racial thing, but I'm going to tell y'all something. If y'all see a black dude dye his hair blonde, 
something's wrong with that black dude. That dude got something loose up here mentally. You don't see black, and I only really see this in the UFC for some reason. For some reason, these black fighters want to dye their hair blonde. You know, I, I don't get that. It, you look like a clown, dude. Any dude that does that looks like a clown. You don't even see white fighters dyeing their hair blonde. So why in the hell are these black fighters doing that? And then this dude ain't even got no hairline. That, I mean, it looks stupid as shit. So, Derek Brunson, number one, rinse that shit out your head. You look like a fucking idiot. Please rinse that stupid blonde shit out your head. You know what I'm saying? Get you, grow you some dreadlocks. You know, get you some braids or something. But watch the damn blonde hair. I, I swear to God that gets... I, man, I hate to see that. Because think... Of, in fact, I put it like this. Name one successful black fighter who had who dyed his hair blonde. Name one. <laughs> one. You can go all the way back to Kevin Randleman. Name one. None of them do. No, like, if you look at John Jones, DC, Rashad Evans, uh, Quentin Rampage Jackson, you know, guys who have been... None of them dudes ain't do that dumb shit. It, just, and I'm, it ain't even just the blonde, man. It's like, for some reason, man, some of these black fighters feel a need to crowd for attention with their hairstyles. I'm going to tell you another one who had a, a kind of bad one was, uh, uh, I, I don't really care for Al Jermaine Sterling's hairstyle, to be honest. And uh, I can't think of the other guy in welterweight. Y'all know, I, I can't even think of his freaking name right now. Oh, my God. Anyway. Yeah, man, just be normal. Just rock normal hairstyles. Like people saying, you ain't got to do all this wild shit to get attention. Let your fighting get the attention. Go in there and knock motherfuckers out. Go in there and choke people out. That'll get, that's your attention right there. That's all you got to do to get attention in a fight game. Is knock people out and submit people. All you got to do. You'll get all the attention you need. You ain't got to, you know, dye your hair blonde or blue or green or none of this crazy sh You know, man, oh my God. Anyway, uh, yeah, another thing I noticed that Derek Brunson called out Paulo Costa and Robert Whitaker. Now, I'm going to tell you, all that's, that's a mighty big jump from knocking out somebody in the top 15 to calling out the number one and the number two. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking he might want to set his sights a little lower. Y'all might not remember, but Robert Whitaker already knocked out Derek Brunson. And I honestly believe that Paulo Costa would do the same thing. Paulo Costa is a big boy. I, I don't think Derek Brunson is going to take him down in the same way that he was able to take down uh, Kevin Holland. You know, another thing, uh, Kevin Holland has called out Bilal Muhammad. You know, Bilal Muhammad, who just fought Leon Edwards uh, to a, in the no contest, you know, the eye poke. Now, I'm, I find it odd that Kevin Holland will fight Derek Brunson at middleweight, but now I'm just calling out Bilal Muhammad at welterweight. So I'm going to make a suggestion for Kevin Holland. If you can make welterweight safely, you probably need to stick with welterweight because I'm going to tell you, as far as I know, Derek Brunson is not even a world-class wrestler. And he and he looked like uh, Cameron Usman in there against you. So you might not want to mess with them big boys if, uh, if you're going to get manhandled. And if you can safely make the welterweight weight, that's probably your best bet. I will probably leave middleweight alone. Um, in terms going back to Derek Brunson, in terms of who he should call out, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe some. I think Jared current Jared Cannonier is coming off a loss. You know, maybe he could fight uh, Jared. Um, maybe he could get the loser of uh, Darren Till and Marvin Vittori. That might be a, a a fight for him. But to call out Robert Whitaker or, or Paulo Costa, nah, nah, dude. Not after you just because you beat uh, Kevin Holland. I mean, that dude's a I'm, yeah. I'm gonna tell you. I'm not going to call him a scrub because he, you know, he was on a five-fight win streak. But evidently, his five opponents were very well selected. And that's how it should be, to be honest. You shouldn't be picking out Derek Brunson's and calling out Derek Brunson's just to go in there and get manhandled. That's, that's kind of stupid. So, you know, maybe, maybe uh, Kevin Holland should fight Bilal Muhammad. That, uh, you know, Bilal, Bilal Muhammad got a little juice off of that eye poke. And uh, Kevin Holland already had a little juice off of that win streak he had. So... That might be a good fight for both of them if Kevin Holland can make the weight. Uh, you know, like I said, I think Derek Brunson, you know, Derek Cannon, would be a good fight for him. And, uh, you know, and everybody just remember, if you're black, don't dye your hair blonde, dumbasses. Don't do it. You it, No, no, it will not bring you success. That will make you look like a clown to not just black people, but white people, too, and Latinos and Native Americans and American. And everybody, you know, that, that, you know, that exists, you're going to look like a clown, too. So if you black, don't dye your hair blonde. If you, 
if you see somebody black and they dye their hair blonde, stay far away from them because they, yeah, stay far away. Anyway, y'all, that's all I really got to say. Um, terribly, terribly disappointed. Oh, I did want to make one other note. Dana White thought that uh, Kevin Holland uh, had a mental breakdown. And at first when he said it, I'm like, what is what? I didn't follow that from Dana because it, it just looked like he got manhandled. But honestly, he, he probably did have a mental breakdown. To be honest, I don't remember one point he was able to get up and then instead of going on the attack, he just started walking around the ring like he ain't want to fight no more. And then all of that talking to Khabib and Dana White and all of that weird shit. You know, maybe he did have a mental breakdown in there. But um, I tell you what, Kevin Holland needs to work on his wrestling. He's going to have a, a rough career going forward. Because I can guarantee you, he he just gave out the blueprint to how to beat him. To anybody who has any type of good wrestling, you know, Kevin Holland's going to be in trouble. But uh, anyway, on that note, y'all, please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. You know, leave some comments. Hopefully you're not a, a, a huge Kevin Holland fan or Derek Brunson fan. And hopefully you ain't take a bunch of offense and leave me a bunch of stupid comments. Hopefully these are things we can agree on because, you know, I think I called it pretty much like it is. And hopefully you'll agree with me and I can get, actually get some good comments this time. But uh, yeah, leave me some comments, y'all. I love everybody that watches my videos. Everybody, please stay safe. Stay strong, stay healthy, peace.